Hi, welcome to my YouTube channel, Craft with Barbara Drake. I am an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in the state of Delaware. Today I'm going to be using this stamp set, which unfortunately has sold out. When I checked yesterday, it was still available, but as of right now, it's gone. But the punch is still available and it's half price for $9. So if you have this stamp set already, so I hope you enjoy the card that I make. The, uh, if you haven't had a chance to uh, check the uh, Stampin' Up! website to see what's on sale, things are going fast and they're uh, priced anywhere from 20 to 50% off, which is a great deal. So today when I use this stamp set and the punch, I'm going to show you a couple ways that I use the punch. And I hope you stick around all the way to the end and I hope you enjoy the video and I hope you learn something from it. So with that said, let's go down to my craft table and get this card started. Okay, here's the card that I made last night and today I am going to make one using the same layout and I think I'll probably keep the same sentiment since I make so many birthday cards. So I'm going to put this one off to the side. I wanted to show you first. So it's an A2 size card. So it's your eight and a half by five and a half, scored at four and a quarter for my card base. And this is just the regular basic white. And a for the inside piece, it's going to be four by five and a quarter basic white. And this is going to be my layering piece. And I'll show you where I got that from. And this is going to be also four by five and a quarter and then just a small strip three quarters by five and a quarter and this will be for my inside piece just as a decoration for the inside to go down at the bottom so let me show you where I got this cardstock from here we go and that's the back side of it and this card here uh, this piece came out of it also this is from the All Together collection, which is available until May 2nd if you are interested. It comes, the collection comes with the stamp set, the cardstock, which is six by six, the dies, and all the, um, these are the new alcohol blends, the uh, natural tones. So here's a close up picture of it. And these are all the designs in the cardstock, which is right here, as you can see those there. So that is available if you are interested in this stamp set and dies, or if you just need the um, alcohol blends. There that is. So that is that piece. Now I'm going to kind of be all over the place a little bit as I go, because last night when I made that card, after I made it, I went and watched a video and I thought, well, let me go ahead and try this. So here's the stamp set, Sweet Strawberry. And it's a photopolymer set. And again, as of last night, it was available. I just checked this morning before the video and it has sold out. But hopefully maybe you have it. And let me see here. This uh, last night I watched... A video um, a YouTube video and it was um, the YouTube name was stamping journey and she made a template um, to make it easier when I made my card of course it was before I watched the video I didn't do that what I did was I was stamping out everything and then using the punch so what she suggested was let me get my template back out. Taking a heavy piece of cardstock. This is 110 pound. I don't know what brand it is, but it's a heavy cardstock. And you take your punch and put it in the same layout as your punch. So you have your strawberry on the bottom, your leaf on the top, flower and stem on the left and on the right. So where is my sheet that I punched out? Here we go. No, that's not it. Right. Well, I don't know where that is at. Unbelievable. <laughs> Anyhow, 
goodness sakes. Oh, yeah, stuck right to it. Okay, here's what it looked like. Okay, I'm going to show you how I did this. But where I made the mistake was I stamped it all and then went to go to cut it with the punch. And I was, something was off. I think it was the flower. So I'm, I will still use this. Um, and punch out what I can and then probably fussy cut um, what I can't. But I want to show you what she did. And this is what it's going to look like. So I'm going to take them off of my block. Each one of these. And I'm using the, the stamps that have the outline in them. Because you have both. You have the stamp. Let me see here. Let me get the cover to show you. You have the the outline, and then you have it's a what they call distinctive stamping two step. So you stamp this, and then the solid piece goes over it. Same with the uh, flowers. So right now I'm just using the ones with the outline in it. There we go. So you take really stuck one there. So what you do, you take your heavy cardstock, and you go ahead and you. This is a four by four and you punch this out. So this is your template. She took the die or the um, stamp, the smooth side facing you, and she just fit it in here like this. And then let's see, here's the stem. Make sure I'm in the view here of the camera. Again, the smooth side facing you. that down in there like so. Here's the flower. I think the flower is, all the petals are the same on it. The problem is it wants to stick to your fingers. And then the leaf. So once that's down in there, now you're going to lay it down, they're going to pop up a little bit. Just make sure they're, I think that's where I messed up the first time. I didn't have the flower exactly in there. Then you take your stamping block to pick them up. So there is what you have. So now you can do your stamping. And she used Memento on it because she used her blends. Now, when I originally did this, I used, and I'll show you the pieces when I cut them out, I used colored cardstock. Let me get my piercing mat to put underneath this. Anytime you're using your photopolymer, you want to have a little bit of cushion under it so your piercing mat is um, good for this technique. So you just stamp it out here. And what I did was I went and stamped them all out, okay? Mistake, because like I said, you want to do one, make sure it's lined up. And we'll see how this looks in here. It takes a little bit to uh, finagle it in there. But you want to look at each image and try to get the same amount of space around it. Just turn your paper or your punch, and that looks pretty good. Like I said, if, like on the strawberry, if you have too much around that, the strawberry is the easiest thing to fussy cut. So I'm just kind of gauging, and it looks okay to me. It looks like all the stamps are in the right position. So go ahead and you will just make some more of these again you're going to stamp it you know make sure you have your strawberry down at the bottom that matches your punch okay and I could just keep going on with that but since I already have some cut out, I just wanted to show you how she did it. And then you can use your alcohol blends 
which here are mine that I did, and I used real red. And some of them, what I had done was I stamped off, like this one here, I stamped off first, and then, um, actually, I'll do one here to go ahead and show you. So we're going to use, um, oh no, she didn't, she did not use, um, yeah, she did use the blends. I gotta stop and think. Yeah, she used, she used the blends on them. Maybe she didn't. I don't know. I'm so confused now because I was doing both. So she was using Poppy Parade. So let me use Poppy Parade. Okay, so you already have. I don't need this now. Yeah, I do. All right. So now this is your solid stamp of the strawberry. I am so confused right now. You just kind of line that up and go over it. The only thing I didn't like, I, I didn't care for the, the black ink on it. But after it stamped out there, I thought it was... It was okay, as in these pieces right here. So that was using Poppy Parade. So I just may as well go ahead and do these while I've got them out here. And for the stem, I can use Garden Green. And this is the shaded, shaded stamp, so you just Line it up the best you can. Oh, I think I'm way off on that. Yeah, but you can fix that. It's one nice thing about the um, blocks. You can see through them. Okay, say for instance on this one here where I um, messed up. I'm going to take granny apple green because they don't have a garden green in the blend this is probably too light and let me try shaded spruce because when it cuts out and we'll see what this looks like when it punches out so you can go over these. And that's what I did on mine. I left them except for the strawberry. I used the ink pads for the strawberries and I used my blends for the for the um, leaves and the uh, stem. I preferred that better, that look. So granny apple green, but for video's sake, I'll show you how to use the uh, ink pads on these. Just kind of line it up and smash it down. What's this granny apple green? It really looks dark. Plus, I like coloring anyway. That's why I liked using the blends. And then for the flowers, we put some daffodil delight on there. Leave my stamp off there. Green. And here's my little flower. And actually, I didn't, I didn't really care for the look of this. Like I said, I preferred the using the, the blends. I think it has something to do with the black ink, but that looks okay. All right, we'll do one with the ink. 
This is Daffodil Delight. And I'll use the dark blend on this. You just have more control when you use your blends. And you can see what you're doing. More so than trying to get it lined up exactly. And then for the inside, I could just use a little bit of Poppy Parade. And then we've got that done. And then I clean my stamp off with my chamois. And then we'll punch these out and see how well we can get this lined up. Again, if you wanted to, you know, do them separately, you, you waste more paper when you uh, do it separately. I got it. My paper's too big to handle. It's easier if your paper's cut down. All right, I think I'm gonna be careful when you're using your punch something I did last night and I didn't realize it actually it was when I was punching through that hundred and ten pound cardstock here's what here's what I was doing it was so hard to punch it was so thick I mean it went through it made my template but as I was punching my skin in my inner hand there I had it down here like this let me just show you here. It was, I was squeezing so hard I didn't realize this part of my hand was down in here in this punch. And let me tell you something, when it, when I finally got it to go all the way through, <clears throat> I thought, oh my God, I thought I ripped my skin right open, but I didn't. I thought, I, you know, I, you know, I wasn't thinking. I mean, you know, I was just going down and man, it caught, boy. So just, again, that's only if you're, you know, punching. Well, I guess you could do it even with this kind of cardstock, but my hand's back far enough that it's not going to catch. So that is how she had done it. You know, if you're making a, a lot of cards, go, go through it, boom, 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 right down the line, and there you go. If, um... You want to use uh, your blends, you know, you, or your stamp pads. You can use either or. So here is another thing that I did. Um, I don't have a piece of my green here, but let me go grab a piece of Granny Apple Green. Keep some scraps here. Okay, say here are my pieces here. All right, here's what you can do. If you want to stamp them in colored ink, your colored ink pads. I just took my basic white, stamped out my flowers or my leaves here on basic white and I used granny apple green so you could have them like that then if you I took um, my blending brushes and I just went over them with some greens and just you know shaded them up like that okay um, let me see here for the strawberries I thought I would do something a little different. This is what they look like, plain, as you can see here. But I stamped these in, um, this was uh, real red, no, the other one, Melon Mambo is what I used. And I took, I wanted to give it some little bit of texture and as you can see I ran it through the embossing folder okay on these and I used the 
tasteful textile and I ran them through the embossing machine and it gave it that kind of a look. So after I did that, here's two more. I went over it again, not with the embossing folder, only embossing folder one time, but I took this stamp here, which is the strawberry shaded one. Okay, let me clean that off a little better. And after I embossed it, so we'll do this one here. Uh, let's see, I used, I'm not sure if I used it on the fan, but we'll try it. So here, this is already embossed. And I'm just going to put this over it again, line it up. going to stick on there and see how it just gave it a more plumped up look than just embossing it one time I thought that was really neat looking so we'll do this one since I like it so much now you can stamp off if you don't want it that dark I'll get it off my finger and then you can have a little bit of a lighter shade I love embossing folders um, for so many things and there's one a little bit lighter so I'm going to use these four because I need four for my card and then I also did the same thing for the leaves let me get these a little bit out of the way here I've got stuff all over the place okay sorry for my arm and the view there here is the embossing folder, uh, Wintry 3D, and I use this one here with the, um, I guess they're evergreens. And I took, let me see, here's one that I just punched out using the leaf, okay. I just, let me see how we use this sign. Just want to get the leaf part of it. Just wanted to get some of the veins in there. Okay. If you like that look. There you go. You have one like that. Okay. And again, you can use your blending brushes. But what I did for these, since I had already... I just took this stamp here stamped it with granny apple green on basic white and I got three of them here and what I did was I took that embossing folder so you can do it two ways you can do it with you know plain card stock or take your embossing folder and what I did was I kind of just eyeballed where this stem was and then put them in there in that kind of a fashion here. We'll try one of these that's shaded. I just kind of line it up. And let me see here. And this is what it's going to look like when you run it through your embossing machine. There you go. It's just a different look compared to one that's plain and again I took my blending brushes and I just went over them with probably granny apple green is what I used so I like the look of that those three and I think what I'll do is since I haven't used my mini embossing machine which I do love I can get these out of the way here I'm going to show you how I did that. I hope I have enough room here. Get my leaf here. Okay. Now, a lot of people were having issues with the mini embossing machine. And what I found was I had I went ahead and marked 
3D folders on this one, number four. It tells you right here, using with 3D embossing folders. The only time I had an issue when I was running through my embossing folder is because I was using the wrong plate. So it tells you here, you always use plate number one is going to be down first, then your embossing folder with your cardstock inside, and then in this case, because this is a 3D, always check your label here, 3D embossing folder. Make sure you're using the gray plate. Actually, it would have been nice if they would have used this one for 3D, being you have a three here, but yeah, it's just me. Um, so I marked this one so I know this is 3D. Now, a lot of people were putting their sandwich through and they were having them all lined up. Okay, sometimes it doesn't work that well when you do that. You want to kind of offset them. So I have them offset and make sure you're not going at an angle. Make sure they're lined up. You know, push it through enough that your handle moves. Okay, it's going to grab it. Now I got to move my stamp pads out of the way here. I got to stand up to do this. Okay, so it's ready to roll. So you just, it's going to come through. Now let's, I can do this sitting down, but it's so much easier standing up. And then that's how I use it. And the same thing when I'm using um, dies. Um, just offset them, and you have different plates for your dies. So, like I said, the only time I've had an issue is because I was using the wrong plate. So, and I bought plates, uh, an extra set, just so I have, like, I keep these here. This is just for my embossing folders. Um, I had a rubber band here somewhere. And then I have another one when I'm using my dies. So this is what your leaves will look like. So go through your um, embossing folders that you have and just play around with them and see what, you know, stamps that you have or your die cuts that you can, you know, give them some texture. So let me see here. I think I need five or six. I don't want the plain one. So let me see. That's one. Here we go. They're over here. One, two, three. Four. Okay, so I think what I'll do is I'm going to use these two. I don't want that one because it's it's, a, it's black on the uh, I used ink. Maybe I'll just use five five leaves. So just going to use some Granny Apple Green. Get, these shaded up here. You want to be careful because they're delicate and they're small. And you know, you could get them darker on one side or however you want, leave them a little bit lighter in areas, or take a darker shade of green. You could do that. There you go. Just gives it a little bit of texture. Keep this one a little darker. And that way you don't have to use um, colored cardstock by doing it like this, by blending. Okay, so I think we're ready to put our card together. Oh, and my flowers. The flowers that I used, okay, these are what punched out earlier. But, you know what, maybe I will use those. So I only need three of those. So we, we use three of those, put these out of the way. I've got my four strawberries that are plumped up, nice and juicy. These are all extras. And then for the tops, let's see what do I have here. Oh, let's see. See, these were done with 
So I need what we just punched. Which now I don't know where it's at. Oh, I, I might punched them out. Here's one of them. But I need to I need to blend it. Did I use white? Yeah. I gotta turn them over, make sure I used white cardstock. I mean if you like the white showing, that's fine. Just do whatever you like. I'm gonna try to keep these consistent here. I got so many pieces laying around. I'm gonna be making a bunch of cards, actually. I think I need a darker green. I need a garden green here. this one because one of them you're really not going to see I believe it's going to be kind of tucked down or a flower is going to be over top of it okay so we have all of our pieces I believe we got them all together flowers leaves um, I think that's it and I'm going to some of these, what I used when I did it on this, you can see I chipped a little, didn't punch out very well. What I did on this, I just used the, um, I think I used Daffodil Delight. I think I wrote it down. Daffodil Delight, yeah. Cardstock and Daffodil Delight on the stamp that was solid is what I did on that. So on today's card, I'll use these here that have the outline on them. So, here we go. Take our card base. Oh, my desk is such a mess. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> oh, I should say my crafting table. There's just so much that I wanted to show you and I thought, oh, this is not going to be a 20 minute video because <laughs> I had never used my um, mini embossing machine yet. On video so we'll see how this goes <gasps> shame shame Let's cover that up hopefully I won't have any oh shoot moments in this video but if you do, you do. I was having a bunch of them last night. <laughs> okay. Oh. Where are my circles? Right in front of me. Okay. I used the layering circle dies for this piece here. The scalloped piece. I use this biggest one right there. So let me see here. I want to stamp that. If I can find my memento now. It's like a hurricane hit in here. I want to try to get this off to the side and straight because of the, um, oh, I should have used the piercing mat. I didn't. That's okay. Clean that off. So let me see here how we will build this up. I think I'm going to go ahead and get this glued down 
that way it's easier for me to build to build the um, strawberries around it. Using some of my seal here. Try to get my cards straight. Stand up and look at it. Hope I don't have much ink on my fingers. Sometimes it's like it never fails. Okay. Now we will start with our plump strawberries. And the first thing I want to do is get the tops on them. So I think I'll put the top, this one on here, and I'm just going to put glue down on the bottom piece here. Get them on there like so. Probably could have came down a little farther. But I think that embossing folder gave it a really neat look. Come down a little farther on that one. That looks better. This one here looks like you're wearing a hat. to put glue on that part. Yeah, I couldn't believe this morning when I went to go check and it was sold out. And I was like, oh no. Because they also have a bundle. And I checked and the bundle was not even available. It makes a cute card. down with this one here since it was a little different on that top piece. Now bring this down here like this. Tuck a leaf in here. This is where I had the, the hardest part is you know what do you glue down first? You know um, how, how much of it do you glue down because you want to stick you know your leaves in there. So um, you just kind of you just kind of got to wing it and maybe, you know, lift up on an edge or maybe like don't really t tack it down. Don't really push it down too much on that until you get your other pieces down. But these leaves and, you know, they look like they've curled up a little bit. So it looks kind of real. Put that one down in there like that while that is not completely stuck down on that strawberry I can get this one down in there so you, you can still move it which is good there we go I still again I don't want to push too much um, on there I still have more to go. So I'll put this one up here like this. And we'll put this leaf is going to be coming out like that. I'll put this leaf down. I'm kind of using my other card as a guide. This 
You'll have to let me know down in the comments if you have this stamp set. And have you used it yet? Because a lot of us, like, actually, this is the first time I'm using this set. And I've had it. I think I, I, think I got it last July. And let's see, we're going to tuck, tuck this one down and leave the other one. It's going to go underneath. This is going to go squeezing in here, under there. And, you know, with the white showing on the outline of the strawberries. If you don't like that, you can always do the ink blending around it and just get it colored in so you're not seeing that white the white outline. And then this is going to come down under here, like so. Put it at a slant, like that. Got to get these leaves in here. Now I'm gluing everything down. The only thing I'm going to use dimensionals are on the flower. up get this under here like so and my last leaf hopefully I can get this underneath there not very well So, now we'll add our flowers, and to give them a little dimension, take my piercing mat. If you have, um, I forget what they're called, I have them, but I just couldn't find them earlier. I'm just going to poke my take a pick tool down in the center, just so that flower kind of curls up a little bit to give it some dimension. Because I used to make flowers with cardstock. I must have put, them, put that tool away. Okay, so then you take your mini dimensionals did have here. And I'm just going to put, now you got to be careful when you put these on because you'll flatten out what you just did. So there. Put one here. See, because once you go press down too much, you're going to flatten that flower right back out. Put one down here. You can just press on it and then I guess just take your fingers and curl them up. But, as you know, once it goes through the Postal Service, God knows what it'll look like when the recipient gets it. <laughs> I always worry about that. 
you know, I'll ask sometimes, hey, how did, how did your card come? Was it damaged? You know, were, were the gems attached? But that you can't control. Alrighty. So we're getting there for the inside piece. Here we go. Up this strip of cardstock. All right, I'm just going to glue this down. Well, first, what I want to do, I want to stamp this in Granny Apple Green. Here, like so. Bring it up. And then this will come down here. I actually went up too far with it. I'll do that. I'll have a little bit of white showing down at the bottom. guess I could always take my right marker and just connect it down there but that's fine but what I can do is take my daffodil delight and just color these little flowers in you got to be careful because this is alcohol blends mixed in with the ink pad so once you touch that green I'll stay away from it and then poppy parade in the middle. Oh, I see I missed a I missed a flower. Just kind of dot it in there. I don't want to touch the green too much because I don't want it to blend in with it. And that's for our inside piece. I'm not going to adhere that only because if I mess up whatever I decide to put on here, then I'm kind of, you know what, out of luck. Okay, so last thing. We're almost at the finish line. I'm going to use these holiday rhinestones, and these are in the annual catalog. And I believe these are, I'm not sure if these are getting me tired or not. Okay, my take a pick tool. Here we go. I used red on the last ones. It looks like I'm going to have to use red on this too since I colored in with the poppy parade on that. Get that down in there. I don't want to press too much again. I'm afraid it's going to flatten out those petals on the flower and the brass butterflies will give that a little butterfly here this is uh, this is in the mini catalog really cute butterflies Uh, let's see, I'll do a medium size one. Make it look like the butterflies flying away. And there we have it. So sorry this video is so long. I hate doing long videos. But sometimes it's worth it. Now see the difference? You've got plumped up strawberries here. Nice and juicy, ready to eat. This is pretty too, but I do like this one so much better. Well, have to let me know down in the comments. What do you think? You think those strawberries look okay embossed like that? Well, 
I really had fun putting that together. And I like that embossing. Anyhow, if you don't have a demonstrator and you're interested in any of these products that I used or any Stampin' Up! product, um, here's my website over here. Here's my host code for April. And I think that's a wrap for this video. I appreciate it if you stayed all the way to the end. Again, tell me. Tell me which card you like better in the comments. And I think that's it. So, again, thank you so much. I appreciate a thumbs up. Until next time, happy crafting. Bye.